Malone inside the box, plays it into centre, one touch, then stab towards goal, and then the shot hits the crossbar from Easter. The goal drink with a ball in field to Anderson, who's taken it well and given it to Parr on the right wing, a chance for him to cross, and it comes to Anderson, who flicks it into the hands of Ford on his near post. Millwall win the ball on the halfway line from Skews. It's Renigi carrying the fight on on his own. He's done really well. He's got a player of support. Wolford in the box for 1 0 to Millwall. He's at the side netting though. Parr, crowd want to cross into the box. Parr pushes it low into the area and Bishop. Right side turns and faces the net. Then he gives it back to Anderson who does eventually cross towards Murphy. He heads it down and off the bar. And uh, did Ford get a touch? Yes, he did, says the referee. Back to McGoldrick. McGoldrick takes on the final man. Wide right, he shoots and it's in! It took a deflection. He's not a Leicester City player. He's an Ipswich Town player. He's got his second of the season. David McGoldrick makes it 1 0. Corner kick from underneath the Millwall fans. All of them miserable at the current scoreline. And it comes high to the centre. Berra heads it towards goal. Nodded on. Surely a second goal. It's turned in at the second time of asking. Ipswich Town double their money. And it seems to be Daryl Murphy with the second of the afternoon. McGoldrick and Murphy both on the score sheet. It's Ipswich Town 2, Millwall 0. Free kick to Millwall, trailing 2-0 at Portman Road. It's Guy and McDonald standing over it from just outside Gherkin's box. It's McDonald who hits it up and it's a good save from Gherkin. It was a fine free kick. Tab to McGoldrick. McGoldrick drills the ball towards goal from a long way out. It comes back to him. Lovely little ball into the box to Anderson. Anderson cuts in field. Great chance for a third goal, but it's blocked out behind by Beavers just as Anderson tried to pass it left footed into the far corner. Chambers clears his lines up to the halfway line. The referee checks his watch and blows his whistle. And Ipswich Town starts September with a much needed victory. Their first clean sheet in 11 matches. They'd be better than us, and then suddenly. You know, we've, we've got the goal, we won nil up, and I think Ollie would have been very disappointed because the team had played well in the first half. And uh, it, it does, we, we it, you know, sometimes you get one nil up and you wonder about the response in the second half because they'll be going and their ears will be ringing coming out. And actually, we were the better team then, you know, consistently for most part of that second half.